Hi, this is Camilla Blossom. I'm here with your Equinox um, Oracle reading. I'm using my Sacred Spirit of Gaia Oracle deck, illustrated by Andrea Dumbecki, written by me. And um, this is part of my Sacred Spirits of Gaia book, Connecting. Um, I started shuffling. And so I decided to start recording right away because two cards just flew out of the deck. So, um, so I'm going to be asking you pick one, two, or three. And there's three. And this reading will be good for now through the uh, winter solstice. So these are elementals, energies, aspects of nature for you to attune to and really work with these energies, um, open to them, listen to them. I will be sharing um, from my book and the deck, the messages from each of these elementals or beings. So enjoy. Okay, I just want to get the right order. Okay. <laughs> All right, so pick cards one, two, and or three. Um, also, the energy of this time period will um, include all of them and their energies and how we can work with them. But the one that you pick will be especially for you. So one, if you picked one. Birds. You need to pay attention to the messages of the birds. You also may be a bird tribe member, someone who is very attuned to the birds, the air, the magic that they bring through, or you may have a um, spirit guide that is a bird. Um, so it is time to open and connect. We're gonna do that now a little bit and invite you um, to open to the sacred spirits of Gaia, and in this case, the birds. And it's look up and see messages. So you might even want to think about what birds you've seen lately, and also from now until the um, winter solstice, like what birds are showing up, or there may be more than one but really tune into what are their messages? Like, what are they trying to tell you? I know there's wonderful books like Animal Speak that um, Ted Andrews has written that has a lot of information about the birds, but I'd suggest you start with your own intuition and go inside and connect with what they want you to know. And I've noticed lately that definitely birds are talking to everybody more everyone I talk to um, my clients my students um, myself there's just a really um, big opening as birds being messengers for us to really listen to them what are they really trying to tell us so I want to read the, um, the message from birds So this is from the birds, look up and see messengers. As bird, my spirit is airy and my song fills forests with harmonious, melodious healing frequencies. Colorful plumage awakens beauty. Flapping wings circulate the subtle energy across landscapes. Look up and I will mirror a sense of freedom from earthly concerns. I may fly overhead, right up to you, or leave a feather for you to find. Magical world emerges when you open to my messages, language, and presence. Watch me. And if you'd like to do a bird ritual, I suggest that you imagine flying with this bird. Let your spirit wings unfurl spread, flap, and fly. Soar with a sense of freedom. And when you look down at your world, see everything from a higher perspective. And one of the messages I'm really feeling right now is for us 
to definitely pay attention to their sounds. You know, sometimes we're more like drawn to what they look like or seeing them or the bird watching thing, but they really want us to listen to the different octaves of their sound. And those are frequencies and those are healing frequencies. Those are communication that can transcend like our mind and what we think we're hearing, but that they communicate to us by transmitting and transferring energy from their sounds. So really open. And I have to tell you that years ago, I was um, going through a divorce and it was a really hard time. My heart needed a lot of healing. And this little yellow bird kept showing up um, in my garden and singing to me. And um, it's a finch, I believe. And its song became such a powerful healer for me. I could just feel that frequency go all the way into the deepest place of my heart and heal. So, so there's this magic that birds can bring that sound. And then the other piece that I feel is important for you guys is to really look at things from a new perspective. I know we've been going through hard times. Everyone has, you know, been affected by kind of the chaos, by the changes, by the hard transitions, by loss, lots of things. And so the birds are inviting all of us to um, imagine flying above the earth, flying above your life, flying above those difficult things you're dealing with and see if you can use that to open your perspective and kind of see the bigger picture, see how can you feel peace? How can you feel that your wings can spread, that you can open up and allow yourself to um, fly and feel more free and claim that and be that and do that in your life. So yeah, definitely they want you to use your own wings. And I like to just imagine I have different sets. I have angel, I have fairy, I have um, bird wings. And so just imagining your bird wings coming out from your wings, from the back of your um, body and um, unfurling and, and um, spreading wide and allowing yourself to feel, hmm, what does it feel like to have really big wings? So definitely invite you to open. So we'll thank the birds for their beautiful presence and also for the way they work on the earth. As you could see from their voice, they are working in frequency ways in the ways they fly and their migration patterns and where they gather. Like they're doing a lot of healing on the planet for Gaia, Mother Earth, and for us and for all of creatures here. So thank you, birds. And um, those who pick number one, you'll have a beautiful um, time of opening to freedom. And we'll invite the freedom codes in for you too. All right. Okay, if you pick number two, wild animals. Watch for animal teachers. So it looks like we're getting a lot of um, the animals coming in to remind us to connect with them. So consider, is there a wild animal that you've seen recently or open from now until the winter solstice, what are the animals that keep showing up for you? Or what are the animals? I had a dream about a bear the other night and I work with bear medicine. So it's like, oh yeah, like bring back some of that, that beautiful energy. Um, you may work with lots of different ones. That's fine. So I'm going to read the wild animals Watch for animal teachers. I am wild animal, hidden and in plain sight. I am drawn to harmonious lands like a magnet. <clears throat> they are safe, lush terrain. 
Mother Earth wants me to roam, fly free and run wild upon her body. My hooves, my claws, paws, heal the Earth's aura as I walk. I ask you to keep places wild so I can explore, find places to rest and create a home or nest. To understand me, I recommend you rewild yourself. When feeling safe and trusting of nature, you will not need to fear me. Choosing a wild animal. Choose a wild animal. This is a ritual that you can do. Or let me come to you. I will intuitively connect and bring dreams, visions, and messages as an animal guide. Study my behavior, learn my stories, and set and see a reflection. Are you and I alike? Is there something to learn from me? So if you'd like to take a moment and just um, tune in and open and see if there is an animal that you're seeing in your imagination, in your inner world that is coming forward. Or it may be one that you work with as an animal guide already, or one that you saw recently, but just, we're gonna open. I'm gonna choose the bear because I had that dream just the other day. We're gonna invite that animal to come close. If you don't know what it is, we're just gonna invite the spirit of the animal that um, you need to work with right now. And the way that it can call you towards your wildness, call you towards nature, call you back to your true self um, beyond all the masks and all the um, cultural things that we get engaged in. Where is this animal calling you to go and connect with it? There may be a place, a forest near you, maybe your backyard. It may be down by the river. So we'll just open to that animal. Like I say, if you don't get the animal yet, that's fine, it will come. We're just setting it up for you. And when you know what this is, learn about it, draw it, write about it, watch videos about it learn about its habitat behavior and leave offerings for it. I think the animals are struggling a lot too. Um, a lot of their wild places are um, being taken over or clear cut. So we really wanna give our love to the animals and honor them and also honor that the homes where we live used to be the places that they roamed free. And so if you have wild animals coming to your house in your neighborhood, like, yeah, this used to be their home. So have some compassion and welcoming and honoring of them. The vast majority of time, they do not want to harm anyone. I'm just gonna tune in and see if they have any other messages for us. The big message that I'm hearing is for you, number twos, to be yourself. And this animal guide is gonna help you tune into some aspects of yourself that maybe you haven't tuned into yet or emphasized or understood or valued. And so you're gonna learn some ways of valuing and loving yourself more through the eyes of this animal and the reflection of their beauty and their behavior and their, um, the different ways they um, live on the planet. 
All right. So number twos, enjoy. Okay, number threes. We have the wind spirit. Listen to my voice. This spirit, it's actually androgynous. I created a male here, but however you see the wind spirit, it's fine. This has come in quite a lot in the last year or two. And um, I believe this was one that came in for even maybe this whole year. Um, so number threes, the wind. What do you think of when you think of the wind, the breeze? I have to tell you, and this sort of relates to the birds, is that every time I'm doing ceremony or I'm out in nature and communicating or communing, um, the wind is how the communication comes through. Um, that is like a confirmation. Like I'll invite um, grandmother to come in and then the wind will gently come in and go, I'm here. So really paying attention to the breeze, to the wind, to this energy of movement that is a really beautiful confirmation first off that you are having spirit communication because wind is spirit communication. It's how we open and connect in communication with spirit, with nature, spirit, and with the magic and the energy, however you approach it. So I'm going to read you about wind. The wind spirit, listen to my voice. I am wind. Go outside and breathe me in. Maybe take a deep breath right now. Feel my excitement, feel my breath on your face, in your hair and on your body. Listen to my sound, I have a voice, a consciousness. My power fuels air movements and spirit communication. Notice when I blow towards you. My spirit wants to relate, co-create and empower communication between us. I blow to you as a form of spiritual confirmation. I blow things to you, a leaf, a feather, a truth you need to hear. Listen. If you'd like to do a wind spirit ritual, visit me where I blow. Listen to my breath, my voice as it reaches your ears. Practice clear audience intuitive hearing with me. So let's take a moment, number threes, to um, open to that intuition through your hearing and to know that often when I have those clear audience experiences, it's not always words and or voices or even sound and music, which it can be but it can also be um, a frequency, different tones, different energies that are moving into your body to give you messages, to give you information, wisdom, to help you understand or help you get through um, different experiences. It's so really open to the different ways your clear audience, your hearing works. And we'll ask that you, um, if you'd like this, have the ability to open to the different octaves of hearing within your clear audience, because I experience hearing is very multidimensional. And so <clears throat> you will be working more with, <clears throat> excuse me, both the hearing and opening to that, excuse me, <clears throat> as well as <clears throat> your breath and the breath of Gaia, Mother Earth and the cosmos. 
So let's open to the wind spirit and you can see for yourself what messages come through. I'm gonna open for the collective. I do feel that cosmic wind, that ability of the air, of the, of the wind, of the, um, that space to fill us, to breathe in that consciousness of these wind spirits these air elementals and just let that air that comes in your body be a cleansing for old energy for beliefs um, a cleansing and allowing of the new consciousness to move through you through the wind and the breath And allow that cosmic wind to bring <clears throat> all of us these different codes, these different energies, these different qualities. So yeah, the wind spirit is definitely reminding us to bring in through our breath, through the air and the wind, our full consciousness. And if you feel like low in energy, you're having a hard time. Just deepen your breath. I mean, one breath can make you feel different. And also, as I said, the wind, you know, brings through a lot of communication um, with spirit. So opening yourself to communication, to the different ways you receive communication. And also the way the wind works, like how the trees dance and move when there is wind, how the wind um, affects us when there's tornadoes and hurricanes and this power that is so great and destructive. So there might be a calling for you to work with weather shamanism or work with um, these elementals that bring these storms through and see if there's a role you have to play in working with them. Nice to see if there's anything else. <clears throat> I think they're good, but I just wanna look at these three cards together. Um, we have the birds, we have the animals and the wind. <clears throat> and I think it's kind of interesting too, the, um, the a lot of air energy, which I know we're moving elementally into more air at this time. And air symbolizes the heart chakra it symbolizes the space of love that energy um, that flight of freedom the freedom codes the way we can be more wild in honoring of earth so there is an invitation to connect with the birds and animals to really um, learn about the air through these relationships and also maybe doing some journeys on your own, imagining you are flying, um, imagining you are walking um, on windy hilltops, or imagine you as that animal. Um, what is the way you would behave? What is the way you live with the freedom that you want most? And what are the places you can go to really connect in with nature? in this very airy, um, very um, honoring of the animals, the birds, and the wind. So happy equinox. I hope that helped you connect more with this energy. Um, I know there's lots of different interpretations of what's going on, but this is a lovely one to work with for really tuning into nature. Um, and if you would like to work with me more, check out my website at camillablossom.com. I have some new things coming up. And of course, if you'd like to um, order my book, 
this has lots of rituals and more about all these beautiful beings and also the um, Oracle deck. So thank you so much for joining me and happy Equinox.